Well, as flu season ramps up, you know, influenza is highly infectious and uh, it's easily spread simply by coughing and even sometimes by uh, <laughs> touching materials where people have recently coughed on. And for that very reason, Catholic Health has announced a temporary ban on children under the age of 14 from visiting any of the group's hospitals and nursing facilities. So we actually monitor the flu testing that's going on. We, so we monitor patients that come in with what we call influenza-like illness. And we also monitor the number of positive cases. Dr. Kevin Shealy, who works in infection prevention and control for Catholic Health, says once patient numbers reach 10 to 15 percent, a flu mandate is issued. Unfortunately, you know, here in the hospital in particular, where there's a lot of people that have uh, chronic illnesses and acute illnesses that would put them at very, very high risk of complication with influenza. Patients who are pregnant, patients with chronic lung disease, or patients with weakened immune systems are all at risk. Uh, so we're telling people that it's not too late to get your flu shot for this year. Dan Stapleton, director of the Niagara County Health Department, is stressing a message echoed by health care providers and the CDC. Get your flu shot. Uh, the flu season doesn't usually end until sometime in May, so there's still plenty of time to get protected, but uh, the sooner the better in terms of getting protection. And health care providers say the best line of defense on a daily basis is constant hand washing. They also recommend if you begin to experience any flu-like symptoms to contact your health care provider. In Buffalo, Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.